What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to tell you how to use the streamer cam. I'm actually currently using it right now. As you can see, I can switch it to here. So it's my POV, I can switch it to separate only. But I currently I'm just going to keep it as the handheld camera. Yeah, so it is very easy to use. Um, and I'm sorry if I sound weird or tired or if I block nose. I'm ill and I literally didn't go to sleep until 4am last night. But we're just going to get into this video because we need that YouTube grind for you guys. Alright, so let's just, um, let me turn to my POV. Let's say that you've just loaded in onto your old record account from your Quest or whatever game like Xbox or whatever stream account or whatever VR account. Alright. To get your stream cam out, we would go to settings. Uh, it should be like this. You go to advanced, and then you swipe your streaming cam to on. Now, the best results to get streamer cam is turning your graphic quality to max. But if you have a lot of FPS drops, I say turn it down, and then every day try and turn it back up, because you know the FPS might um, stop. Because that has happened before. So we go to advanced streaming cam on and then next there should be a button next to it that says streaming mixer We're going to click on that and you should have this menu So to get the handheld camera and get any sort of view We're going to just press use so I get some makeup pen. pick it up. Well, I know you can't see this But it's right that you basically right. It's right in front of me. Let me actually it's, So it's actually right here. You guys can't see it for some reason but I'm currently holding it, and once you get it out from your handheld camera menu, grab it, and then you click the trigger. How you shoot the paintball gun, or how you shoot guns like this. So you just click on the same trigger you used to shoot your gun, and then it will flip out. You can click the trigger again for it to face you, and then you can click it again to sort of do that and you can just toggle around the views to get a more specific view you can click on one of these pov face which basically tracks your face like that uh teleport only which it's like a cool cool, cool kind of hack camera angle and if you have teleport on it'll do something oh i can't switch but whenever you teleport it'll just like move you uh like it'll move the camera to where you are um, we also have follow, which kind of self-explanatory, just follows you. Um, and then you have a bunch of streamer cam points. That's where your streamer cam points will show up, in the stream mixer. So to record with the streamer cam, there are two recording softwares that I usually use. So either I use OBS Studio, which actually, let me show you this for now. I have OBS Studio, which I'm currently recording with now, as you can see. Or Streamlabs, which you can click record on and it will record. So, I'll go over OBS first. And then show you how that works. So, let me take you a trip. Uh, let me give you a trip through OBS. Alright. So, sorry about that. I had a little bit of error. So, basically, this is OBS. You'll, you'll start off like this. What you want to do is, uh, like, to add the game that you're currently seeing. Because whenever you... Whenever you use the streamer cam in Rec Room, that will show what your what your streamer cam is currently seeing. Um, so you want to go, you want to go to, you want to right click on the sources on OBS, go to Add, and select Game Capture, and then go to Create New, and then it'll come up with this. Usually, I go to c Capture Specific Window and then click on my window. You know, Spotify Premium. Um, you know, sometimes it won't work, so it needs to be maximized. But if that doesn't work for some reason, we will choose the, what is it? We'll choose window capture, which can capture windows, aka, like, things up. So, if I were to, make sure to put, uh, I, think, I don't know why I have Minecraft launcher open, but this is a good explanation of it. It's now showing when I added the window, when I double click it. There we go. Yeah, so now it's showing 
um, perfectly. It's just, just if it's screen. Okay, so if you want to ca capture your whole like monitor, your whole monitor, you want to go to right click again, add display capture, create new, and then choose what monitor. Uh, of course, I only have one monitor, so I just click on OK, and now it's here. Um, oh God, I can't undo. Okay, so that's how to sort of change your OBS perspectives. And we are actually going to... Okay, we're going to teach you how to get separate desktop audios. So, you should already have desktop audios. If not, you can add some on this page. But the desktop audio, the way to configure that is you click on one of these cogs. Then you click to properties. And then you choose whatever speakers you're hanging out of. So I'm currently hanging out my headphones, which are the Realtek High Definition Audio. And if I were to click on that, let's make a sound through my headset, like, uh... What sound? Make like, uh... Yeah, so, as you can hear, the music is playing, and the little sound bar down here is detecting it and making sound. So, yeah, that's how to know it's working. You can also change your mic by doing the same thing, going to properties, and then choosing what mic. So this is my virtual mic, which I don't currently have open. So I'd click on Realtek High Definition Audio, and now you can see it's detecting it. But if I were to switch to my voice mod, which currently isn't open, then it looks under like this, and nothing's playing through. So, that is how OBS works, and then you can press start recording, and to find what files you're on, you're going to go to File, Show Recordings, and then all your recordings are over here. So let's give you an example. Looks kind of like this, which is one of my ex, which is my Xbox gameplay from one of my old videos. So that's how it works, OBS. Now let's get over to Streamlabs OBS, and I can show you how this works. So, all right. So I'm gonna head over to Streamlabs. Um, I usually stream on this, like my, my Minecraft or my Twitch. <laughs> Definitely not plugging. But yeah, there you go. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Hey, I'm not showing that. My I, my face cam just showed for a second, and that was hard. Anyway, so let's say that you were new to Streamlabs. You need, of course, you need to make an account and stuff. But to make a scene, we're just going to go to scenes, manage all, and then press create new. I'm just going to wait to make one. And here we go. So we're currently at black, just like we were with OBS when we started. And we're just going to click on this little add tab here. So these were made by the same people as OBS. Alright, so I'm actually going to go to... Where is it? screen capture okay so we can go to screen capture which I would add first um, and then you can tell what windows to capture if I make it capture my stream labs I'll capture that but I just minimized it yeah if you just click on game capture it will look for a game to capture and the way to sugar this is basically just by um, putting a game in full screen but to make it more specific, I say you capture a window. That's what I do with my um, streams. <laughs> yeah, so I do a more specific sort of capture. Um, the way to add text to your recordings is to go to add again and general. Where is it? We're going to text GDI, add source. And you have all these options to choose from. This is where you actually write the text. Um, yeah but to, to add a new sort of audio so if you were to have two desktop audios just like OBS you go to add to your scene audio output capture which is desktop audio and audio input which is built-in microphones USB microphones any other USB device that has an audio input that inputs audio so there we go so we've got that covered 
Um, this is all the stuff, sort of like streams for streams. But yeah, um, you can add a new scene by going to add on the scene. And you can switch between these scenes. But you can also make a transition. You can add your own transition. Um, I'm just going to do one of the normal template ones. Uh, that's not working. Wow. Global transition is stinger. That's not working. Actually, I'll show you an example of one of my stream, one of my stream templates. So, this is what my stream templates look like. We got most of my stream things here. And this is how stream that really works. So that's how you add a transition. Currently, nothing is showing because um, it's trying to capture Minecraft right now when I don't have Minecraft open. So yeah, um, to my other stuff. If you want to start streams like this, you're gonna have to search a tutorial on it. Um, yeah, that's how to use Streamlabs, and to click on record, you just, you, to stop recording, just click record, and then it will start recording. Did I just cancel out one of my recordings? No, I didn't, alright. But that is how to use Streamlabs and OBS to capture your recordings in Rec Room. I'll see you guys later, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.